once upon a time, I was a little over 300 pounds, um, really unfit, really unhealthy. I was diabetic, I had high blood pressure, I was asthmatic, suffered from just a lot of illnesses. I was on antibiotics frequently, um, so really low immunity. And it was one of those things I was just going to doctors and it felt like pill after pill, nobody really addressing, hey, you're overweight, we need to do something about this. So you kind of just get sucked into that mindset that this is who I am. Then I got pregnant with baby number three. Her name is Claire, for Clarity and Light, because when I got pregnant with her, my doctor was like, you're not gonna make it through this pregnancy. I was very overweight. We could not get my blood pressure under control and my kidneys were also failing me. They weren't sure if I had kidney disease or not at that time, so that was something that we were gonna need to address after the pregnancy. And it did turn out that I did have kidney disease after that. But that was where kind of my wake up call was. But from that point till now, it was a game changer. Um, and it wasn't just a game changer for me, it was a game changer for my kids. Your kids do what you do. So me leading a healthier lifestyle led them to leading a healthier lifestyle. And you, you want that for other people. So I went and got my certifications and did all kinds of things. Um, yeah, and now I'm here. The diabetes went away after I had lost some weight and so did the high blood pressure, but then the high blood pressure kind of spiked again and my kidney disease was getting worse. So I went to my kidney doctor and they basically wanted to do biopsies and put me on prednisone, which is a steroid, for the rest of my life. I told them no. I had felt like I'd already been through enough, like from that perspective of doctors, health, surgeries. And I had a grandmother who was in her 80s who needed dialysis. And I knew from being on dialysis, you couldn't have protein. So it kind of just led me down this path as to why. Why can't you have any protein when you're on dialysis? Well, it's because your kidneys have to work extra hard to process any protein from an animal. So. I was like, well, I'm gonna go vegetarian. You know, I didn't know anything about this. Like, it was, this was new to me. And my doctor was like, you don't need to do that yet. I'm like, what do you mean yet? I'm, I was 32 years old at the time. I was like, it's not gonna kill me to do this. I'm, I'm going to do this. So I did it and then my kidney and function had improved by like 30% and then 40%. I'm like, wow, this is really good. And she's like, how are you doing this? And then I went full on plant-based to know that you can take a hold of your health and you don't have to always put it in somebody else's hands. We definitely need our doctors, right? But to be able to know that you have some control over that just by diet and healthy lifestyle and exercise and movement, meditation, all these things play into it. It's, it's very liberating that you can have some control and you just don't need to always go to the doctor for like every little thing and that you don't need a medication for everything, you know? It's liberating.